Come to Ben and Kelly. It's group therapy on 99.7 DJX. Got a listener that's reaching out. Hey, Ben Kelly. Mm-hmm. I'm way too embarrassed to go to my friends or family with this. And since I consider you guys like my friends. There you go. I wanted to ask for your help and be anonymous. Okay. So I've been in a relationship with my boyfriend for almost a year now. And I'm really happy with everything. Mm-hmm. My friend recently started dating his friend where she found out some things. Okay. Like she literally told me all of this last night. Apparently, he is still legally married because he said it was too expensive to get a divorce, but they haven't been together for four years. Okay. As if that isn't bad enough, they still own a property together that they rent out. I plan on asking him about all of this, but my question is, if he never told me any of this in a year, what else am I missing? Okay. So confused. Really thought he could be the one, but he is still married because it's too expensive for a divorce. Please let me know if you guys can help me out with this. Thanks. Wow. Um. So he's I. I is she just the other woman and doesn't know? Well, it because sounds I feel like like that. But I, I, I mean, I it could very well be that he's actually hasn't been with his wife in four years and like. In every way, they're separated, living divorced lives, just not legally on paper divorced. Because okay. pricey. Right. No, I, I, I get that. But like I, it could be, a, you know, a valid story. But the fact that he didn't share any of that yeah. with her is the biggest problem. Right. So it could be very, quote, innocent in that they've been separated for a long time and they live separately and the only thing that's really keeping them together is a piece of paper right and it sounds like from like his friend's story that told her friend yeah that's the story like i don't think they're still together and he's cheating on his wife with her right it's that situation it just is why didn't he share that though okay well because if he said hey uh you know i really like you so funny thing Still married. I, you, prob- st- you have a problem with that? Still married. I mean, technically, of course, but uh-huh. I mean, that's not going to be an issue, is it? Because Maybe, as soon yeah. as I was going to say, as soon as a guy says that to you, you're you're out. Yeah, probably. And maybe that was the whole reason. But but now I guess he's, then once you get a yeah. year in, then you feel like you're too deep, right? And you can't really say anything now. Oh, this is. That's so, tough. okay. All right. So how would you handle this? Um, have you had to handle something like this before? Even better. Uh, what's your story surrounding that? All right. Um, 502-795-1997. Yeah, I do have some questions like, Brittany, we're missing some information, right? Did he mention a divorce? Did you know he was ever married? That's That's the part that we don't know. Like how much of his backstory did she know? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Did did she know that he had a wife at one point? Right. Mm. Interesting. All right. 502-795-1997. Would love to hear your thoughts on it or stories coming up. So she found out her boyfriend of a year is still legally married to his wife. She doesn't know what to do with all that. Like, okay, so if he left out that little fun fact, then what else is she missing? Do we know if... Uh, he's also a dad. Don't know that either. See, and that's a lot of people are pointing to that. Randy says on Facebook, we're missing too much information. Has he straight up lied to you or did y'all just not have the necessary discussions? Are you living together, dating seriously? Uh, you know, I'm not sure anyone here can give you much advice without you having spoken to him uh, right. first about all this. Right. I do. I do feel like it's, it, it almost sounds like they just haven't had really in-depth talks yet yeah well becca said did he imply he was divorced or did he say he was divorced with paper signed in the agreement done it's a small difference but it sets the tone for how to approach the conversation that needs to happen divorce is not that expensive unless he knows he will end up sharing his funds with her which he's already doing now well he (sighs) that's true i mean if he's still married he's still probably paying for some stuff right yeah i'd assume and we don't know if there's any kids. I'm, I'm assuming there's no kids involved because I feel like she would have mentioned that if she found out that as well. Now, Heather's um, bringing up a 
personal story saying, hey, it happened to me, but I found out after we had been married a year. <gasps> yep. Wait a second. That were they? So I guess he was. Did he get he got, divorced from the first wife? Sounds like he didn't. Oh my gosh! Wouldn't that have like raised a flag when they applied for their marriage license? Um. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like that should have come up in the system. Well, unless they didn't, you know, unless they just went through the ceremony and didn't get legally married. I don't know. Anyways. Wow. Yeah, some red flags for sure. So, um. Yeah, I mean, I think a lot of people are pointing to the fact that maybe this is a red flag. So, um... Well, Brittany is saying my ex said the same thing, and he and said wife would still occasionally hook up. (laughs) Oh, jeez. Well, he may not have lied to you, I'd still run. Not telling is the same as lying or hiding it. Okay, If it's not a big deal, why wasn't he forward with that info in the beginning? Now, I do understand if he is going and, you know, just kind of starting to date this person and just thinking, okay, it's it's still casual. It's not like, um, I guess, serious enough to have serious yeah. conversations yet. How much of my baggage do I dump right, on her? Right, exactly. So maybe I, I almost understand where he's thinking, all right, well, at some point I'll bring it up. But at some point, though, if they've been dating a year, at mm-hmm. some point, yeah. they have kind of, it became obvious they're exclusive, right? Well, maybe Your boyfriend, to, girlfriend. To who? Well, okay. That, I, maybe that's what she needs yeah, to right. reflect on. Like, right. okay, was there a point in your relationship over the last year where you get, that became clear you guys were exclusively together? You're a couple. Right. At that point, that's when that that's stuff should have been aired. Sure. Sure. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, hey, good luck. Uh, we don't envy your position. That's for sure. No, it's tough. That That is kind of, that's jarring when you feel like you're in this blissful kind of still honeymoon state of this relationship. You feel like you found the one yep. and then that's a big obstacle to overcome in your future with him. Right. All right. Well, hey, good luck. There's plenty of other um, uh, people that are chiming in on Facebook as well. If you want to and you weren't able to like uh, get your uh, point heard. At Ben and Kelly Show, you can do it right there. Keep us posted. That's Group Therapy.